What up, y'all? So today, SI, okay, that should tell you something. Good morning, guys. Today, as you can see, the weds are going away. Um, now there's a really good reason why I'm doing this and I hope you guys can understand and wait for it because it is something pretty big. Um, getting rid of these wheels to a subscriber by the way, getting rid of these wheels and I'm get, I'm, we're doing a straight trade for his wheels and I'll show you guys that too. Um, yeah, there's something big coming for the SI and it's been a long time coming. It's just that at this time it's actually the best time to pull the trigger because of uh, a lot of the sales that are going on right now for tax season, so I was like, screw it, dude. It's time. When it comes, it comes. And if you know, you know. If you follow me on Instagram, you should know. So uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me right here. Uh, it's in one of my posts. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. We're going to go to Lathrop today. We might as well visit Nikki. And um, yeah, let's just chill today. Alright guys, are you guys ready to see the wheels? Here they are. Woo! So, okay. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna wait till that goes by. Alright guys, so these are the Ray CE28s um, in 18 by 9 plus 35, 5 by 114. These are made by Volk, so Volk Racing, obviously. Volk Rays, the infamous, you know. A lot of people would get the TE37s, but these were such a good deal to pass up that your boy finally got them. So yeah, I think these will look really sick, especially on the SI. Um, right, oh my gosh, I, I wanna tell you guys what I got, but I can't tell you, but yeah, these are gonna look sick. Um, yeah, right now I'm at uh, Nikki's house, just chilling, and uh, I'll be going home soon to put these on. As of right now, just take a good look at that. Mm. Dang. Yeah, I got all four. Uh, the fronts are a little bit bald, or they're not, okay, they're, yeah, they definitely need new tires, which is perfectly fine with me. I'll just get new ones. I'll probably put these in the back for now and then put the meatier ones or the ones with more tires left still in the front. But yeah, hopefully after that, I'll be able to get new tires. Um, I just need some help, you guys. So with these wheels, these are 18 by 9 plus 35, similar to the spec of my RPF ones. But with these, I don't know if you can run a stretch on them. How much of a stretch can I do? So right now, these are on 225.40 and it has like a minimal stretch i want to know what you guys think of having a little bit more of a stretch i was thinking maybe a 215 40 tire seeing if that'll give it more of a stretch but let me know because i do want to run a little bit more of a stretch because of the thing that i got uh, i don't know if that's going to give you a hint or not but yeah we got the wheels in there i'm just go chill for a bit relax maybe do some homework and then when we go back to my house i'll show you guys with them on the car all right guys, we're going back now to um, Antioch so I can put the wheels on. But I honestly just want to take this time, you guys, to say thank you so much for uh, the support that I've been getting for the channel as well as like the Instagram. Um, you guys literally are awesome, man. Like I've already got like noticed twice. Um, one from Victor who actually sold me these wheels. Shout out to Victor, man. Thank you so much. He's a fellow subscriber. And then I also want to thank like um, everybody else that really like supports me um, I know that I don't come out with a lot of content all the time and if you're new what's up <laughs> it's your boy Royce um, I make YouTube videos of my SI and the EK that I'm planning to make oh, oh. Ooh, I got that little emo hair flip going on but I make videos with my SI and the EK that I'm trying to make a track car yeah um, I post hope like I post pretty regularly on my Instagram so if you don't follow me follow me on that and I also post on YouTube a lot um, especially when I have uh, parts going on to my cars or if I just want to make a pretty dope video on like a follow-up of what my car is about I do that too so if you guys haven't subscribed yet subscribe but yeah uh, for all the people that have been following me already I really want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart uh, I really appreciate it and I hope you guys stick around for the journey of me modding these two Civics and hopefully you guys like what I do. If not, oh well, sorry, I'm building my car, but yeah, let's get home. 
enough of that sappy lovey dovey stuff and let's put these wheels on man <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. These are so light for 18 and 18 by nines. It's crazy. All right, guys. These are the wheels. I thought that they, I thought that they didn't have stickers, but they actually do have stickers. The one that I just looked at didn't have a sticker, but they do have stickers. If y'all wanted to see, right here. Right there, as you can see, super dirty, but it is a 18 by nine plus 35. Then you have all the stickers right there for authenticity. Oh, we're good to go. Nowadays there's so many rep companies out there. I know there's a company that makes exact replica of these and they call it like RAV engineering. I'm like, bro, RAV engineering. They didn't even, I don't know, but yeah, so pretty sick. Let's put it on the SI because right now it's on the right now it's on the AP1 wheels and like honestly <laughs> I couldn't even move it because the offset on these especially with a lot of S2Ks they're so high so it's like literally touching the coils let's get today started get these suckers on and see how they look like in the light all right first thing first like I always say let's check which hub centric rings fit on this so we can make sure we have proper fitment all right 73.1 and yeah it is 73.1 to 64.1 so if you guys didn't know now you know babe. bro look at this oh my gosh these have like no air bro oh my god look at that oh that stance life baby i don't understand how people run like 205, 35s, like 195, 35s on like big ass wheels, bro. You guys are like riding on this much tire. I don't get it. I don't get it, but put these on. But y'all, but these look so good, dude. Like, mm. you know what my goal is? To be able to get all the wheels that every company has ever made and put them on my car, bro, because your boy always got so many wheels. This is some, yeah. So let's put the back ones on and let's drop this actually first to see the fitment. All right, first I want to give a shout out to Precision Works. Y'all keep asking me, bro. I even made a post about it. Precision Works made them they're not something you can just buy on the market hit them up if you want to get a pair and let them know your boy sent you because love precision works man they always help me out whenever i have problems or anything like that always go to them solid i might actually get some made for those but we'll see because your boy still got hella parts to install i'm just hella lazy so one last thing before we finish up the fitment i'm actually going to be putting a three mil spacer in the front I don't know if you guys knew this, but on my RPF ones, I did put three mil spacers on both the fronts. I thought it just looked a lot better because right now it's going to be sitting too far in and I actually want, um, I prefer having three mil spacers in. Plus with the thing coming in, it should look dope. So yeah, I'm leaving the rears as is, but in the fronts, I'm putting a three mil spacer on. Right now, there's a gap, as you can see. It's gonna settle in a lot more when we start driving. But as of right now, that's what it is. Obviously, it's not gonna rub because I do have, um, I did put camber on my previous setup when I had fat tires, so it's definitely not gonna rub. Um, yeah, it'll just probably drop down to like a finger gap. But let's bring this car out into the sun. Then I'll do some beauty shots of it at a location over there. And then we'll end the video right there because 
your boy always getting new wheels so that's more content for you guys and you guys can see different sets of wheels on my car which is pretty sick so what the f bro they're having a f chase right now my neighbor what the hell what the f bro did you not i hope i got that on film what the frick dog it's it's getting litty out here in Antioch right now bro maybe i should just like wait real quick before like i head out Crap, I think right here. Right here, bro. Watch. Oh my god! Bro! Bro! This is crazy! What is going on? Oh my god, I can't believe I got that on film, bro! Crap, okay. I was gonna go film out. But I don't think I could do that right now because they're like going back and forth and stuff. So yeah, I don't think I can get it right now. But yeah, we'll see. Um, I should go back inside. I don't know what's going on. Helicopters like right around my house. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. Helicopters up there. I'm here. So yeah, uh, I'll be right back. All right, anywho, uh, before I was distracted by that crazy cop chase, um, right now I'm going to switch to my 16 millimeter so I can put it on my gimbal and then I'll do a full reveal of the wheels because I think it looks really cool. Um, and I'll let you guys know about the fitment and everything like that on what I need to do in order to make it fit a lot better. So I'll be right back. There, now I have my 16 millimeter on. Let me know what you guys think about the 16 millimeter. I really like using it, but I just don't know if you guys like it because I don't know if you guys can pick up the uh, auto focusing sound. I hope not, but if it does, let me know. But this is the 16 millimeter. Now I'm gonna uh, put on my gimbal so that we can see the wheels in the car, man. Cause that's, that's what this video is all about. Wheels, wheels, always about wheels. That's like my past three or four videos are all about wheels, so. I just get to it. Just kidding, I don't have my gimbal with me. I forgot it in Richmond, so let's just get a cold start, and then I'll I'll try my best to make it look cinematic and smooth at the same time. If it's not, I'm sorry, but we'll just try it out. I'll shoot at like 120 frames per second, slow it down all the way, so let's get a cold start for you boys and girls. Gasoline. guys like that cinematic here are the wheels now as i said before these are the volk racing volk ce 28s um i freaking love these dude uh these are probably my second favorite uh volk wheel so there's three volk wheels that i really like that everybody probably knows there's the volk te 37s the volk uh, ce 28s and then the ze 28 i think i like the ze 28s more than these these are probably my third one but regardless these look dope see that concave it's not a lot but it's it's pretty subtle but yeah this is the feminine right now though the fronts i could definitely use a spacer but i won't i don't need to do that as of right now because like i said before something's coming in the mail and i'm not trying to let you guys know that but it is pretty sick trust me and then these ones the rears fit a lot better uh this is without the spacer too the fronts have a spacer so it definitely sinks in a lot more, even though this one is technically now 18 by nine plus 32, and that one's still 18 by nine plus 35. But regardless, I'll run this for now. It's more practical for me, because your boy is going to Stance Nation. Whoever's going to Stance Nation, let me know. Uh, we could meet up, I can meet you guys. I don't know if any of you guys even wanna meet up with me, but yeah, I think it'd be really cool to like, talk to you guys there. I think it'd be sick. Plus I can get you guys in the vlog. Um, yeah, this is how the 
as I sits right now. And that's going to conclude it for today's video. Hope you guys like today. Hope you guys like the new wheels that I got for this month. I swear I'm not going to change wheels anymore. I mean, I've changed wheels like four times in the past two months. Or like, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's like my the sneaker head in me where I get tired of um, wheels or shoes really fast. And I have to just like keep rotating them. But I think this one will be good for the setup that I'm going to be doing before sense nation so if you guys are there you guys will know what will happen but i'll also uh post a video of when i install it because it should be coming in by next week hopefully it ships out soon but yeah hope you guys like it make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button make sure you guys subscribe if you're new welcome i'll be making more videos soon but hit that thumbs up button subscribe watch out for more content follow me on instagram follow me on every part of social media and until next time i'll catch you guys tomorrow, most likely. And remember, build humbly.